Let's say our project has started with a rib pattern. So this might be the edge of a hat or the edge of a sleeve or the bottom of a cardigan. And we want to introduce a new colour of yarn into our work. You might be forgiven for thinking that to work our new wool into a rib row, that we continue with that pattern. So I'm going to knit two stitches and then do the twist at the back, knit two, purl two, knit two, And now that I've worked a few rows in the rib with the colour change, you can see that we're left with this row of pink going into yellow, which you might want to leave. You might want to make it a feature of your work. So on both sides, we can see that, that we've got this change over here. But there is a way to make that neater. So I'm just going to take all this pink knitting back. So I've brought the work back to just the yellow rib and then let's reintroduce the pink yarn but this time we're not going to do the knit two, purl two rib stitches, we're going to just knit a row. So knit a stitch, the all important twist at the back. So I've knit across that entire row. Now I'm going to go back into my rib of knit two, purl two. And now that I've <clears throat> done a few more rows you can see that even though that was just a knit row on the front of our work <clears throat> we've got no join oh, made a mistake there <laughs> but on the back of the work you can see where the yarn has joined so that's just something to bear in mind on on a rib row sorry on a rib pattern if you're introducing a new colour, always just knit one row and then proceed with your rib pattern. Just don't make a mistake like I have there. 